and the whole world is watching what's happening with the election currently in the US and still a dispute. A lot of uh, people living in the world today, you know, think that we live in a free world, at least in some of the countries that claim to be uh, advanced and free, the free world. And even the, the president of the U.S. is often referred to as the, the leader of the free world. Do you honestly think, do you honestly think, I want you to think about it with a Bible in your hand that you believe, do you honestly think that there are free and fair elections in this world? Can you honestly think that? On, especially on the high level of the governments and countries that actually matter in this world, the ones that are heavy, the ones that are influential, the ones that are leading the world. Do you honestly think that such a, a task of selecting the leaders of, of that world is really left to the whims of people freely? The, the mask is coming off. The deception is so severe that a lot of people are starting to see past it, see through it. But in like manner, there are so many people who are still so very caught up in it. God's word is the one that gives us the accurate perception of what is really going on. There are celebrity musicians who actually openly admit that they sold their soul to Satan. You realize that? that? That means that they got their fame, their glory, and their power, power of influence and position and celebrity status is because they paid homage to the God of this world. This is acknowledged, this is repeated time and again by, by famous people. I'm not going to go here and repeat names and so on. You can find this out there. It exists. Fake freedom today fake freedom.